Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Okay, so the first topic that we're going to discuss in C programming language is of course the part one or the chapter one, which is the introduction to the C programming language. Let's start with our discussion. Okay, this is our learning objectives. We're going to define what C is all about and also uh, a brief history and why we will use C um, some facts and also environment setup, and we'll try to run your first hello that C program or hello world. Okay, so it's actually the basic when it comes to programming, printing hello world. Yeah, so that's it. Okay, next slide. Okay, so what is C? Okay, C is a general purpose. It's it is also a procedural imperative computer programming language. So it is very important as a programmer that you should learn this language in order for you to be able to understand the other languages. So it's something like it's for beginners and it's crucial. It's, it's also very important to learn. Okay. So why C? One of the, one of the benefit is for us to develop operating systems, databases, compilers, and so on. So if you are familiar with what an operating system is, databases, compilers, the program, one program that made up of those um, pools are, is made of C. Okay, so C programming also, I mean, not tools, it's technologies, yeah. And also, guys, um, C programming is an excellent language to learn to program for beginners. So if you are an aspiring programmer, it's very important that you should learn what C is all about. Okay. So this language is developed in um, 1972 by Dennis Ritchie at the Bell Telephone Laboratories to develop the Unix operating system. What Unix? What is Unix? Unix is widely used for internet servers, workstations, and main mainframe computers. Okay, so again, it's developed by Dennis Ritchie to develop the operating system or the Unix operating system. Next, history, quick history. Yeah, again, it's developed by the Dennis Ritchie and was originally first implemented using a DSC PDP-11 computer in 1972, okay? And in 1978, Brian Kernighan uh, and Dennis Ritchie produced the first publicly available description of C, now known as the K and R. So I think Brian Kernighan is one of the co-founder of this C, okay? So they publicly produce um, the description of C named K and R standard. I hope that that is clear. Okay. So that was just a very quick um, history. We're just going to learn who developed and at sino yung kasama ni Dennis in developing C. But we're not going to go deeper kasi hey, baka abutin tayo ng ilang, um, ilang oras. Ha? Next, what are the different facts about C? So C again was invented to write an operating system called Unix. Um, again, Unix is used for internet servers, for mainframe computers and workstation, okay? C is a successor of B language. So before C is created, there is a B language which was introduced around early 1970s. So if you are, um, I think, willing to learn what the B language, what are, yeah, what B language is all about, you can always, you know, search this one if you're interested, but we're not going to discuss that in this video. And uh, this language was formalized in 1988 uh, by the American National Standard Institute. So before a language is, I mean, used or formalized, it, it needs to be, um, license or checked by the American National Standard Institute. Okay, next. 
The Unix OS, again, was totally written in C. And today, C is the most widely used and popular system, uh, popular system programming language. And uh, also, most of the state of art soft software have been implemented using C. And today's most popular, uh, popular Linux OS and RDBMS or Relational Database Management System or MySQL have been written in C. So if you're using Linux OS, um, it is created or made with C programming language. Okay, so I hope that is clear. Okay, why we use C? So C was initially used for system development work, particular, particularly the program, wait up, okay. Programs that make up the operating system and was also adopted as a system. Okay, let me. Okay, let me repeat myself. It was adopted as a system development language because it produces code that runs nearly as fast as the code written in assembly language. Some examples of of the use of C might be operating systems, okay? Language compilers, we also have assemblers, text editors, print spoolers, network drivers, modern programs and databases, language interpreter, interpreters and utility, utilities, and a lot more, okay? So those were just some examples of the usage of C programming language. Okay, environment set setup. So for this course, we will be um, using these tools or technologies. The IDE is Visual Studio Code. You can use any, any other IDEs, okay? It's up to you. But for this one is we're going to use Visual Studio Code, and then we're going to install the C or C++ for Visual Studio Code and also the C compiler. Okay, so for the environment setup, uh, using the Visual Studio Code or programming C using um, Visual Studio Code. Please watch the separate video that I've just created. Okay, so when running C program, it's important that we should have a text editor and a compiler. So your program will not run unless compiled. So um, there were ideas actually where it already has a compiler, but uh, yeah, but for Visual Studio and I think Sublime also is you need to configure the their plugins and also install a uh, separate compiler. So the compiler that we're going to use is this one, the MySys2. Again, for the environment setup, please watch the separate video. Okay, and you can find the video in in this playlist. So yeah, and you can also use Eclipse if you like it. Atom, you also have code blocks and sublime text, net and code light. So you have a lot of options. Most important, important thing is you're able to create your program. I mean, we're able to run is a program. Okay. Yeah. So next up is the C program structure. Before we study the basic building blocks of C programming language, let us look at a bare minimum C program structure so that we can take it as a reference in the upcoming chapters. So C program basically consists of the following parts. Just like a human being, you know, we have different parts in order for us to communicate, in order for us to do our job. So C program also, in order for it to do its job, to communicate, it has these following parts. First is we have this preprocessor commands. So this uh, we're going to discuss deeper these following parts in the next videos. But for now, I'm just going to give you the overview. Okay. So in the preprocessor commands, of course, what we do is just to include a library you now in our header part of our uh, main function, and then for us to be able to use the different functions inside these libraries. So we need we need that. It's kind of like a head, you know? And then we also need functions. Functions is of course to do different functions, okay? 
process, and then variables, uh, statements and expressions, and also comments. So it's kind of very important that you should know this basic part, basic, basic parts in order for you to develop or to start programming using the C language. So again, we're going to deeply um, discuss this in the next chapters and also give you an examples. But now please familiarize yourself that, it, that in order for you to create your first pro, I know your program using the C language, it should has these following parts. Preprocessor, it, it must have functions, variables, statements, and expressions in comments. So comments is, uh, is also very important when it comes to programming or coding for us the, for us developers to know what, uh, how, I mean, what are the functions of this function? You know? What this function does, okay? Something like that. So yeah, I guess we, all have, we only have one, two, three, four, five, five parts. So let me repeat myself again in order for you to develop a program you know, using the C language is to familiarize yourself at least of these different following parts. I think I have example here. Okay, so as you can see in this example, this is uh, printing hello world, no? or in our objective, we need to like create our first program using the C language. So this one, this is the code, or this is the preprocessor command, where we need the stdio.h in order for us to use the different functions, the printf functions. So this is a, I would say a library you know, that already has different functions. So all you have to do is when you call this library is just to um, use directly the functions that is inside in that library. So the printf will not run if, you don't include this one. Okay, and also we have this main function. So in our main, this is we're going to, it, it's, it is something like the body. This is where you're going to put all your expressions and statements inside of your main function. So for this example, all it have to do is to print a hello world. So as you can see, it uses the uh, function printf. And then inside that one is the string. Okay, so the result is this, hello world. Okay, so that's a basic example. And in the next chapters, we will be having a lot of exercises on for you to familiarize more yourself of the coding standards of C programming language and yeah, how to develop programs using the C programming language. Yeah, I think that's all. Okay, that's all guys for our chapter one. But let me end my presentation with this quote. So the first step towards getting somewhere is to decide you're not going to stay where you are. So this is your time to, you know, go out in your comfort zone. Okay. Yeah, thank you. And for resources, you can visit these different sites. And I'm also going to attach to this in the description below. So if you have any other questions, feel free to reach me out and let's talk. Okay, so that's all guys and have a nice day.